Hey everybody, uh, it's Saturday, another Saturday, and I, I still have a lot of work to do to get this um, raised bed garden ready. Um, the problem is we have this coronavirus thing and uh, everybody's freaking out, uh, and it's, it's difficult to get some of the supplies that I have because we just don't want to be out. We're, we're trying to self-isolate and uh, not get near anybody because there's been community spread of it and so forth in this area and uh, you know we're just trying to lay low at this point so I can't really hook up the ram pump yet so I'm gonna get as much as I can ready as far as the ram pump and the irrigation uh, and I'll lay out the poly pipe and uh, set up I have the bucket and the PVC try to get that going from the, uh, the driver pipe so I'll take you along on that. Also, I want to cut up some of those logs right behind me. Uh, so I'll put that in the video and then I'll put oh, about a, a foot and a half in the bottom of the raised bed garden for the hugel culture. So that's, that's enough to do today. That, that'll wear me out pretty well. So stay tuned. By the way, I've started a compost pile with fresh grass clippings from the backyard. Just got a lot of them. I had about five bucket loads of grass clippings that are here. You can see that they've kind of settled after the rain. And on top of it, I had I went to a local coffee roaster and got some uh, coffee bean chaff, put it on top, and then you can see I have some coffee grounds from the house with some orange peels so I'm gonna just go ahead and mix that in and uh, yeah we're working on our first compost pile here starting to get that white mold which is good I'll make some compost bins later but this will do it for now
Hey everybody. Woo. Well, the bed is full and unfortunately, because of the lockdown, I couldn't go to the dairy and get that compost, uh, that cow manure. So, I mean, that's okay. I'll get some eventually and I'll use it later, but I'm gonna, it looks like I'm gonna have to start out with just natural topsoil from the pasture. So that's okay. Uh, this is my first raised bed and I'm just gonna start from seed and let's see how we do. And I'm really excited. I can't wait to eat my own homegrown salads and uh, who knows what else we're, we're gonna grow, like raspberries and blueberries, straw, I mean, every berry you can imagine. So um, you can see that there was a lot of grass roots in here. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be doing a lot of weeding. Oh well, that's just the way it goes. I tried to get out as much roots and everything as I could, but uh, if, I, if I'm up here often weeding, I, I think I can keep it the weeds at bay. So yeah, I think that does it for filling the raised beds now. Uh, I'm almost done with the ram pump. I tried to get it to work. Uh, it, it actually did work, it cycled. But the problem is I don't have enough head pressure on the drive pipe. So what that means is I have to go like 40 feet longer and you know probably about 10 feet uh, vertically, vertically down to get that pressure. So uh, I solved a, several problems with that, uh, with that ram pump. The bucket wasn't filling, I, I fixed that. Uh, and yeah, I think, I think we're getting close there and then I'll fill up that IBC tote. So I think that does it for the filling of the bed. Uh, the next video will probably be the ram pump. And then after that, that means I have water. Oh, I'm gonna make some uh, compost bins. I'll probably do that this weekend, probably tomorrow. So I'll, that'll be another episode. So trying to get all the infrastructure for gardening together, because it is getting very close to April 1st. Um, next Wednesday, this is Saturday, next Wednesday is April 1st. So uh, I need to start thinking about planting, which is exciting. All right, thank you so much for sharing this with me. And let me know what you think in the comments section. Okay, Homestead Pilgrim out.